here with your secret to creating the winning mindset. As you know, if you watch my videos, I'm a big believer in creating the winning mindset, getting your thinking right, conquering this right here. And today I want to show you another tool that you can use so that you can condition your mind, just like you can condition your body, so that you can have anything you want, anytime you want. Okay? And it has to do with goal setting. All right? But number one, a three keys right now for you to implement right now, immediately, so that you can have anything you want, anytime you want. Number one, you've got to know why. You're saying, well, that's so simple, the simplicity of it. Of course I know why. No, but hear me here. You have to know why you do what you do. And it can't just be a simple uh, little why. You've got to know. There's got to be a strong desire with inside of you of why you want to truly go and accomplish that thing you want to go and accomplish. I see people all the time and they're, they're not being successful in a certain area. And I ask them, well, why do you want that? Why do you ultimately want to make more money? Why do you ultimately want to play in the NBA? Why do you ultimately want to lose weight? And they really are wavering, very indecisive about that why. And it's not strong enough. I'm here to tell you that if you don't know why, then I'm telling you that you're not going to be motivated and eventually quit when obstacles come and adversity comes. If your why is not strong enough, it's going to be very hard for you to go and reach your goals. So you've got to know why you do what you do. Number two, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, on that one today because I want to spend a lot of time on another one. But number two, your second key is a question for you. What is your standard? What's your standard? What do you hold yourself to on a daily basis? You see, a lot of people, uh, you know, they don't have standard. They just go through life and what happens, happens. And the circumstances that throw themselves at them, great. They adjust. They go with it. They go off how they feel. That's not good enough. You got to know your standard because I'm telling you right now, the standard you hold yourself to is the mindset you'll create. And the mindset you create is how you will approach certain situations, good or bad. And you, you probably heard it before and you maybe even said it yourself, but you know, stuff like I, I want to lose weight or I'm, I'm going to lose 30 pounds or you know, I want a better relationship. I, I want to have a better relationship with my wife or my husband or my kids or um, I want to make more money. How many people want to make more money? Let me ask you this. How many times have you said something like that, but for some reason you did not accomplish what you ultimately said? You didn't accomplish the high standard you had for yourself of losing, of losing weight or making more money or ultimately having a better relationship. It happens all the time. You, you see it at the beginning of every new year. People make these big resolutions and all of a sudden they're, they're not getting what they ultimately expect. So I ask you what your standard, but number three, the key to your success today, number three is what's your action? What's your action? Now this is key for you, and the goal here is to figure out does your actions line up with your standard? Okay, I'm telling you right now, my friend, you will accomplish more, and I heard my coach tell me this one time, and I heard him talk about it all the time, you will accomplish more in life through movement than meditation. I'm not telling you. Don't meditate, goal set, all that's important. You've got to do it. It's a must. But so many people, they don't take the action. I'm a big action guy. Now, here's what I want to talk to you about today and spend a little, spend a little time on. Are your daily actions lining up with your standard? Are they lining up with ultimately what you want? And I heard uh, Tony Robbins say it as rituals. What are your daily rituals? I like to call it the law of compounding. Is what you're doing on a daily basis, getting you closer, all right, or further away from your big standard, your high standard, your goal, your big vision. Now, you see it all the time. People talk about having a big vision, talk about these high standards, but they're not doing the daily activities to get them closer to the high standard. What's your daily rituals? What's your daily actions? You see, I was thinking about it the other day, and somebody asked me, you know, you're so successful in what you do. You know what? You see success, and same as failure, they're not big events, my friend. Success doesn't just happen. You don't just wake up one day and, oh, cool, successful. Oh, look at him. He successfully played an NBA. Or, same thing with failure. Failure is not just an occurrence that happens one time. It's not a big event. Oh, they failed. They didn't lose 30 pounds. Uh, they fail. 
That's not what it is. You see, your success and failure is the little things or the lack of little things, the daily, small, little rituals, routines, the law of compounding that you are doing or not doing on a daily basis. What are those tasks? You've got to back your vision up with daily rituals. You've got to learn to condition your body just like you condition your mind on seeing my videos. So, is what you're doing lining up with ultimately the standard you have for yourself? That's my question for you today. If not, it's the, called the law of compounding. Find the small, simple, daily tasks that you can do, disciplined little things, that you can do over and over each day to get you to your ultimate goal. You see, I, I think about this all the time because I had someone mention it to me and send me an email and I run the local uh, boot camp here, Boot Camp Tulsa, Tulsa's number one fitness program, voted top 10 in the entire nation. Check it out if you have not. We're doing some awesome, awesome things, transforming lives. But one of our boot campers, one of our clients said to me the other day, I was out coaching the boot camp, and they said, you bring it every day. How do you bring it every day? Like, we've known you for four years. It's like you're never off your A game. What is it? And I sat there and I told them, you know, I love what I do. I have a passion behind what I do. But I'm here to tell you today that my standard is set so high. I'm here to transform lives, and I know that these lives are dependent on me. So my standard is huge, but my daily rituals, my daily routines, my daily tasks are what enable me day in and day out to over-deliver, to bring my A game. Now, I'm going to tell you, we have boot camps at 5.30 a.m. There's times I'm tired. There's times I'm sore from training. There's times I don't feel like getting up. I might be a little sick, but I'm here to tell you that I do not allow how I feel to dictate and determine the standard that I have on myself. I do not allow it to dictate and determine what I want out of Boot Camp Tulsa to, to continue to be Tulsa's number one fitness program. I'm telling you, there's days I don't feel good, but I'm on the way to boot camp, and I use something called self-talk. I talk myself into performing well. I command myself. I command my self-conscious mind to line up. I command myself to do things, to over-deliver, to have humor, to be the best coach I can possibly be because I know those people ultimately need me. So I'm here to tell you, you can self-talk like I do and get yourself in a peak state of mind, but it's the daily actions, the daily rituals that allow me to continue to do what I do and perform at a high level. I heard Tony Robbins mention one day where he had the honor and the privilege to go to Michael Jordan's last game. Greatest basketball player ever to play the game of basketball, Michael Jordan. And he asked Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael, what, what do you do after the game? He asked him while they were sitting, what do you do that makes you so successful? What is it? And you know what Michael Jordan said to Tony Robbins? I heard Tony Robbins say this. He said, Michael said, you know what, Tony, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm going to be real with you. I have a lot of talent. God blessed me with a lot of talent, and I work extremely hard. He said, I have God-given talent, but the one thing is that I do on a daily basis, I work harder than anybody out there to get the result I want. I work harder than anybody. I put the time in on a daily basis. I do the daily routine, the daily rituals over and over and over again. Michael Jordan was not concerned with being a good basketball player. He was not concerned with winning a championship. Michael Jordan was set on being the greatest basketball player to ever play the game of basketball. What did he do? He lined up his daily rituals, the law of compounding, with ultimately the high standard he had for himself. I'm here to tell you, my friend, no matter what your vision is, losing weight, a better relationship, making more money, whatever that vision is, if you don't line up your action, your daily routine, your, the law of compounding, the daily rituals, if you don't line it up with your vision, you will get nowhere. Just like Michael Jordan did. Just like you right now, if you want to lose weight, you can't just say you want to lose 30 pounds, lose 30 pounds. What are you going to do starting today on a daily basis? so that you can lose those 30 pounds, those 100 pounds. What are you going to do today, starting today, so that you can have a better relationship? Do you want to have a better relationship with your spouse and you 
walk in the house after work and you know you're on your phone texting or you know on the phone still making business calls or you walk in put put the you know kick your shoes off and go right in front of the TV that's not doing the daily things to enrich your marriage enrich your relationships so your rituals are not lining up with what you're saying if you want a better relationship with your spouse when you walk in that door put that phone down go give her a nice hug over deliver a little a little maybe bring her some flowers do something you've never done. Why? So that you can get something you never had. I'm here today to tell you, what is the why? What is the why, number one? Number two is, what is the standard that you have for yourself? And number three is, is your daily actions, your daily routines, your daily rituals, are you implementing the law of compounding on a daily basis so that your actions line up with your ultimate vision. You can have anything you want anytime you want, my friend. This is Coach JC reminding you to keep it simple, have fun, and remember your life is what you make it. See you next time.